Close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Really stick with it. You can watch your breath many times in the course of the day, but if you don't stick with it continually, it doesn't make any difference. It's the continuity of your focus that makes all the difference. That means you have to resist any temptation to go someplace else. This is a quality of endurance that you have to develop as you meditate. We usually think of endurance as like an endurance test, how long can you do something? What's how long you can do it? In the case of training the mind, it's how long you can do it and be happy while you're doing it at the same time. There are a lot of difficulties we have to put up with in life. And if all you can think about are the difficulties, it makes it harder to deal with them. But if you realize that you have your inner resources, sources of well-being inside that you can develop, then it makes it a lot easier to deal with these things. This is one of the reasons why the Buddha said endurance is a blessing. We often think of blessings as something you get from somebody else, but he has a whole sutta or a whole discourse devoted to the ways you bless yourself by developing good qualities in mind, in the mind. And patience, endurance, the Pali word is kanti. This is one of those blessings because it enables you to do things that you think are really important. If you constantly get waylaid by the least little bit of disturbance, the least little bit of difficulty, nothing gets accomplished. So when the Buddha is talking about endurance, he's not talking about just sitting there and taking it. It's more, you've got a goal to which you aim and you've got things you've got to do and you can't let yourself get waylaid by other distractions. And one of the big distractions, of course, is your own sense of liking and disliking. Someone says something gets you upset and you go running off with that and you've dropped the task that you set for yourself. Or if there's something you're really attracted to, and you drop the task you set for yourself and the task never gets done. So you've got to learn how to endure both the things that you like and the things you don't like. Don't let them get you off course. Because I said again, it's not that you're simply being passive and accepting things. You have to have your sense of priorities. What's really important in life? What do you want to accomplish with this life? Some people ask, what's the meaning of life? There's no meaning given to life. You give your own life the meaning that you want to give it. And what's the best meaning to give it? The Buddha recommends that a good goal for life is to find something that doesn't die. After all, we have this body here that dies. We have to leave the world. But he says there are, there's a dimension in the mind that doesn't die, but you have to work to find it. It's like fresh water in salt water. The fresh water is there, but if you simply let it sit in a bowl by the side of the sea, and the salt is not going to separate out. You have to distill it. And the distilling is the effort of the practice. And you find, okay, there's something of real value in there. It was disguised by the salt. In the same way, there's something of real value in the mind that is disguised by the defilements. Greed, aversion, and delusion. So you have to work to clear those things away. And you want to make sure that your moods don't get in the way. Otherwise, you meditate when you feel like it, and you don't meditate when you don't feel like it. And the times when you don't feel like it seem, seem to get more and more and more. The right attitude is whether you feel like it, you do it. Whether you don't feel like it, you do it. That's what endurance is all about. You learn how to endure your likes and dislikes and not get dissuaded by them. So to keep yourself on course, try to develop this quality of endurance. Other things may come up, but you don't let yourself get distracted by them. You don't lose your focus. Because there are important things that need to be done in life, especially things in the mind. Nobody else can do them for you, and they don't get easier as you get older. So do what you can right now. And as for the things that would pull you aside, just learn how to endure them. Don't pay any attention to them. Remind yourself of the resources that you have inside. One of the reasons we work with the breath is because we can make the breath comfortable, make it easeful, make it, give it a sense of fullness inside the body, well-being inside the mind. So that the prospect of having to endure difficult things doesn't seem so daunting, doesn't overwhelm you. That way you can stay on course, and this way you bless yourself every day as you stay on course.